Today, I want to talk about the difference between a goal and a future vision and why it's so important to have both of those two things. First, let me define a future vision. A future vision is thinking to yourself, wow, next year, I would love to you know, take a wonderful vacation and somewhere warm and, and relaxing with my friends and family or whatever. That's a, a future vision, right? You're just dreaming, thinking of it, and you haven't set up any particular strategy or you don't have any plan yet. You're just wishing and dreaming, basically. A future vision is something typically that we put out there and we say to ourselves, I, this would be great if I could get this. And so it's, children do this automatically. When we're young, we do a lot of future visioning and we imagine ourselves doing things. And really the imagination is, and I talk about your conscious mind and your unconscious mind, the imagination is part of your unconscious mind. So it's really important to use your imagination. In fact, as I've said before, Einstein said, imagination, your creativity is more important than knowledge. So it's very important that as you look to the future, that you dream up things that are beyond your reach. You definitely want to have ideas and thoughts that are way beyond your reach. And the reason we want to do this is we want to, there, we are actually setting up our, our unconscious mind to stretch and to begin to figure out, not consciously or logically, but the unconscious mind begins to figure things out while you're sleeping, you know, while you're doing other things. So we want to definitely have a future vision, something we would love to do or have or um, something that really is way beyond your reach. It's so important to have something like that. And I do that with all of my clients. We start off with a future vision, something they would just, the life they want to live, not the job particularly, but the kind of life they want to live. For instance, a client of mine loves the outdoors and she just really wants to have time and flexibility in her schedule and her life and the energy and the, the financial means to be in uh, nature, be in the outdoors, do things, and maybe even have a, a job related to that. So she's dreaming of this future. And so we must do that because that creates energy when we have this sort of luscious future out there that we're thinking about. I remember when I was in graduate school, I had a future vision and it was very clear to me that I wanted to be, in the old days, we would be with people in person, that I wanted to be sitting in a room and I wanted to be helping people. So I was in school, I was training to be a psychotherapist, but the vision was this long range vision. I was just in the beginning, it was a master's program and it was a lot of work, but I had this vision of myself having this wonderful rewarding experience helping people. So I had this vision of myself out there, sitting in a room, talking to somebody, helping somebody. That was a, a future vision. Now, the goal, the difference between that and a goal is a goal would be something very, very achievable and more immediate, even if it was five, 10 years down the line, but something that you could actually create a path and have steps and a strategy. So in other words, you have the what you want to achieve and then you have the, the how. So a vision does not have the how. It just has this, wow, I would love to do this. This is my dream. This is my hope, right? It's a little fuzzy. And your unconscious mind works on that in the background. A goal is something that we work on we set the goal with our logical mind. So it has to be, you've probably heard of SMART goals. A goal is something that is, it's, it's tangible. You can see the end result. And the end result would be 
for instance, when I was in graduate school, the end result was I had the degree. So I remember being in grad school and uh, really having a lot to do and really feeling burdened by it. And there were times I absolutely wanted to just throw in the towel and quit. It was a very hard program that I was in, very rigorous. And it was good. I was learning a lot, but it was really hard. But I, so I had the goal of getting that piece of paper, but, and it was important that I, and I had steps to get there, right? So I had to work the steps, do the homework assignments and the papers and my internship and do all those steps in order to get to the outcome, to the goal of getting the degree. Now, remember, I had this vision and the vision was giving me energy, the vision of this future life that I wanted to lead, right? The goal, though, was more tangible. It was something that was had steps. It was achievable. And if I didn't have both the goal of getting that graduate degree and this vision, this future vision that was energizing me and compelling me, I probably... I might have quit because the goal of getting that piece of paper, getting that degree, it was really weighing me down a lot. So I had to refer to my dream and remember my why. Typically, those dreams incorporate your why, the thing that gives you energy, the thing that is important and wonderful that you really want to stretch and reach for it. The goal, as I said, has strategic Steps. It has a one, two, three, four, five. And it's as we talk about smart goals. So it's very important to have both of these things. Remember, the vision is fuzzier, long term, big stretch. And a goal is it may be a big stretch, but it's achievable. You know that if you follow this and this and this step, you will get there. So it's really important to have both of those. And I'll, let me give you an example of a client who had worked through the future vision with me. And he had this idea. He wanted to, his future vision in, entailed a lot. It entailed moving from this rural area and moving his family to a more populated area where he was very social and he wanted good schools for his children. And so this was his big vision, like just to live this life and to have a job that really fit that. So this was a vision and he loved doing things with his hands. He loved, so he had all these ideas about his future and the fun things he'd be doing and traveling and all these wonderful things. But a lot of it had to do with spending time with his family. So his vision was having the kind of job that allowed him to have an experience where he could drop his kid off for school in the morning and pick his kid up in the afternoon. So that kind of flexibility. So that was his vision. His goal, we worked on his goal and his goal, once we figured out, I took him through the career clarity formula and we figured out exactly what, what role, what field, what industry he should be in. When we figured that out, then it was time to set a goal. And the goal, he had a timeline. I want to get a job by, I think it was July. And it was maybe we were uh, talking in March. I want to have a job by July. I want to move my family. All of this was supposed to happen by July. So he had a goal and he had a timeline and he had to work the steps. So he had to, I helped him in my program. He enrolled in the Passion Purpose Paycheck program and I took him through the clarity piece. And then we did his LinkedIn profile and his resume and he had all the pieces and we practiced the interview techniques. So do you see how these are pieces? They are very practical pieces that lead to an end goal of getting a job. But his vision was this lifestyle that he wanted to lead with his family. And with having that vision, it helped him do all the hard pieces because it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy to do things he had never done before. He had never had a LinkedIn profile. He needed a, a resume that reflected what he wanted in the future. 
So typically our goals, they don't have to be hard, but it, they're, they're steps that we have to take in order to get to an outcome. And the vision is something that is attractive and it's something that we dream of and we really want. So I want you to understand the difference between the two and how important it is to have both. So as I said, the vision will keep you going. I'll give you another example from my own life where I had a vision of what I thought the, the future, I wanted the future to be, and I had a goal. So the vision was that I would be able to help a lot of people and I wouldn't have to do so much like one-on-one -on -one time with people. So the vision was that I had this sort of more flexibility in my life, more free time. And in order to get to the vision of this kind of lifestyle, I set a goal. And the goal was to um, create a course that I could record and put online and have people take the course and work through the course without me being with them all the time, right? So they could take the course and I would give them private sessions also, but I wanted to have this course and the course actually could stand alone. They could do the course all by themselves. And if they chose to have me involved, I would be involved. So that was a goal to get this course done. So I had to hire people to like help me put this thing together. There was technology involved. So these were all the nuts and bolts. Your goals are going to have pieces to them, steps to them. So I met with uh, somebody, I invested in myself. That was the first thing I needed to do, invest. It was a financial investment to hire somebody to help me put this thing together so that I could get to the goal of having a recorded online course. Now, once I got to that goal, I, and I, the only reason, it was hard to get to that goal, I want to tell you, because I had to sit in a room and read scripts and record at this course. And I'm a people person. I really like connecting with people and in real time and talking to people. So it was really, it was hard to sit down and do that, but I did it. And the reason I did it and achieved that goal of creating the course was I had a vision. I had this vision of myself. I, I don't know, really, I can't remember exactly, but I, I do remember that I was, I had a lot of free time and I was going to the beach and I was exploring and I was enjoying my life and didn't have a rigid schedule. So I want you to really think about this year when you are setting, maybe people make resolutions, uh, but I prefer goals. I prefer goals and a vision. So I would, I would encourage you first to sit back and allow your unconscious mind, allow your imagination to run wild and ask yourself, if I could have the best year of my life in this coming year, what would that entail? What would that look like? What would I be doing? Who would I be with? What are the experiences I'd be having? What are the things I would be ha have around me? So that would be envisioning your future vision and make it really juicy and exciting. And so I encourage you to do that. And then maybe when the new year comes, or if you're really excited about this vision, then you may sit down and say, what are some of the things I would actually have to do to have this kind of life next year? And it might be that you need to find a new job, change jobs, or get a promotion or change roles. And in that case, you're going to set a goal and a, the goal will have a time frame, and it will have a set of steps that you would take and you would start to flesh out a plan of action. So I just invite you to do both of those things. Have a vision, a future vision for how you want next year to be, the experiences you want to have, people around you, the things you want to do and things you want to have. And to also, when you're ready, to get down to the nuts and bolts. In order to progress towards this dream 
what is it that I would actually need to do? And those to do's become your goals. So remember for me, I wanted a certain lifestyle. The to do was to create this course and it had steps. So that's my invitation to you 